Give thanks to God of gods, for his steadfast love endures forever. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Did you come out to give him glory today? Hallelujah. It's time to worship and praise the Lord.
him up. Lift him up. Love casts out fear, 
because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he's a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. May these words of the Holy Spirit edify your spirit.
God, those that are sick, remind us, God, that you took the beating. By your stripes, we are healed. And we declare it in the name of Jesus. We declare it in the name of Jesus. God, you know what we're going through. You know we, we need a financial blessing. But God, you said you are the cattle of a thousand years. And God, only that we trust in you, God. We trust you, God, right now in the name of Jesus. God, open doors. Close the other doors that need to be closed. God, show us your favor today. Today, God, today, God. We deem it so in the name of Jesus. Forgive us of our sins one more time, God. And Lord, we'll ever be so careful to give your name the praise, the honor, and all the glory you deserve. In Jesus' precious name, amen.
Let God's love unfold us, unfold in us with hearts to love unconditionally. Let love reveal who we are globally, committed servants to the commandment to serve our neighbors, nor God be loved. That we will let God's love define us as faithful disciples of Christ, fulfilling our mission mandate. God, in the likeness we've been born, shape us. That we let God's love carry us into all the world with care, courage, and hope.
rest of my life. I will serve. Y'all feel that way? I know he's been good to you. I'm looking at you. He won't give every single one of you up this morning. Oh, praise his holy name. grateful for our missionaries today for leading our worship service during our Sunday school our music department presented what a great day we've had thus far we thank God for brother Alan Simmons coming for in the music department on the organ this morning give God praise for him Let us bow in prayer. Speak, Lord. Your servant. I said, Your servant is listening. Speak to the inner person. And Lord, let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. My text is one that you all know. John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. In 2016, I heard Dr. Anderson talk on this subject. I cannot do with it what he did with it, but it uh, it, it's, it's a thought that will bless the occasion of the day. And the topic is God loves us. What did I say? Somebody say it again. Look at somebody and say, hey you. God loves us. The love of God is infallible. Little children have memorized John 3.16. And the old and theologians and scholars are still trying to figure out its depths. For God to love the world that he gave his only begotten son. It is uniquely born, son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Y'all still here? The Greeks have three words, three basic words for love. The first word is eros from which we get our English word heroic. Eros love is mentioned nowhere. Somebody say nowhere. nowhere. It's mentioned nowhere in the New Testament because Eros is all about taking. It's all about getting something. Without anything being given in return, heroic love is a selfish love. Eros is about self. It's about self. It's about self. The next word is filio. From which we get our word Philadelphia. The city of brotherly love. It's a love between friends and family members. 
And it's a give and take relationship. It's a fraternal type of friendship. But, but, but the love that is spoken about in this text is agape. Agape love has nothing to do with the one being loved. But it's all on the character of the lover. Agape love is not about the person being loved because the one being loved may not be totally worthy of the love. The love of God has nothing to do with the object of his love. But the love of God is based on the character of God. God is the one who loves us through Jesus Christ. God the Father outright loves us. There is nothing we can do to earn it. There is nothing that we can do to deserve it. When we get up in the morning, he loves us. Before your head hit the pillow at night, he loves us. When we do things, we have no business doing. He loves us. When yes. we are at places we have no business being, he loves us. Yes. When we act in ways that are not pleasing to him, he still loves us. When we act in ways that are not pleasing to him, he still loves us. When we are unlovable, stubborn, disobedient, yes. stiff-necked, and don't want to act right, don't want to talk right, don't want to live right, don't want to walk right, God still yes. loves us. Yes. So is there anyone that God does not love? Walters, I don't know how that makes you feel. But when I think about the love of God and how God has no qualification how he feels about me, he just loves me because that's who he is. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says God is love. Y'all yeah. yeah. all right? Yeah. The word love will never make sense unless you say it to yourself, unless you put your name in the text. God so loved. Then, then put your name there. God so loved Elvin. Yes. Yes. God so loved you, whatever your position in life, wherever you come from, whatever your educational level, whatever your social status, whatever your financial condition, yes. none of it matters to God. God loves you because he loves you. St. Augustine said, if you were the only person alive. God would love nobody but you. Because he loves you. He loves me. He, he, he loves me. Did you get that, my brothers and sisters? He is looking out for me. He has opened so many doors for me. He provides for me because he loves me. He doesn't just like me. He loves me. He just doesn't protect me. He loves me. He has his arms up around me. He pacifies me. He makes sure that I have everything that I need. Jesus loves me this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Y'all yes. yes. still, yes. still here? Yes. This one verse, John 3, 16, has brought multitudes to Christ. Herschel Hobbes says of this verse, it is, it is the gospel in superlatives. Martin Luther, the great reformer, says John 3, 16 is the gospel in miniature. A.T. Robinson says, John 3, 16 is the little gospel. If all the Bibles in the world were lost, but if we still had John 3, 16, yeah, well, well. we would still have the Bible because all the version of the Bible points to John 3, 16. For God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life through Christ Jesus. John 3.16 answers and addresses isms and ologies, superstitions, and so on. Let's take a closer look at this and see how God answers the isms, the culture, and what the devil can throw at the Bible. Hear this, God's response to atheism was claimed that there is no God. Well, the Bible said that God so loved. Yes. The text responds to federalism, which means that God is an impersonal force. The word responds to nationalism, which means that God only loves certain people. He gave a response to materialism mm -hmm. because God is a giving God. Yes, yes. He is the only begotten yes. son. That is the response to, who, to Mohammedism, because Muhammad says that God has no son. Mm. So, what does this verse, this John 3.16, really mean? What does this, this, this fun-loving society, what, 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 what God, well listen, God's love, first of all, it is global. He loves the world. He loves everybody. Red, yellow, black, and white. We are all precious in his sight. God loves. I said God loves the drug addict. God loves those with AIDS. God loved the Haitians. Yes. God loved the Africans and, and the Colombians. He loved the Mexicans and the African Americans. God loved the Caucasians. God loved everybody. The problem that we have in the United States of America, we think that God is an American. Are you still here? Huh? We, we, we seem to think that God is an American. At the end of the seventh inning of every American and National League baseball game, they sing, God bless America. Some churches were saying, God bless America. Uh, on Sunday morning, when politicians finished their speech, they say, God bless America. Let me remind you today that the flag is not the cross. I'm touched by the flag when I see it. We're, we're blessed by the men and women who sacrifice, but it's not the cross. And the Constitution is not the Bible. God bless America is not our doxology. God loves everybody, not just white people, not just black people, but God loves all people. Yes, 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 yes. God does not just love Republicans and Democrats. God loves us. God loves Donald Trump. God loves Joe Biden. God loves Yankee fans and Red Sox fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God loves the Mets and the Dodgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God loves the Knicks and the Lakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just for the record, <laughs> God is a Celtic fan. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord. <laughs> God loves us. I said, God loves us. His love stretches around the world. Every hour of every day, every second of every hour, yes. God is loving us. And God didn't start loving us when we got here. Mm. Hear this. God so loved the world that the, that, the, that the word so loved demands our attention. Mm. So in front of love, so is a demonstrative adverb, which means he loves in an 
infinite matter yes. that cannot be humanly understood. Mm. It, look, look, all that was was, was, was eighth grade grammar. Yes. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. I, I'm, I'm going to make I'm going to make a shocking statement here. Only God can love all human beings. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let me share with you why I said that. Only God, somebody say only God, only God. can love all human beings. All human beings. Only, God only God could love someone yes. who can put cigarettes out on the body of a five-year-old child. Yes. Yes. Only, God only God can love a, a man who rapes his own 13-year-old daughter. Only God, only God can love a full-grown man who tried to have sex with a six-month-old baby. Jesus, and after that, he gives that baby AIDS. Mm. Those kind of people, in my opinion, need to be dealt with. And I don't like them, but God loves them. God loves those in the penitentiary. God loves those on the street corner, smoking crack. God loves those with, with five babies, with no husband. God loves divorced people. God loves deadbeat dads. God loves us. Yes, yes. The challenges of a good Methodist, not only does America think that God, that God is an American, but we Methodist people think that God is a Methodist. <laughs> and we got the text to prove it. But let me tell you, God loved the Catholics. Yes. God loved the Baptists. Yes. God loved the Pentecostals. Yes. God loved the Muslims and the Hindus. God loves all people. Yes. 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 When you think about the people that I have just named, these are at the extremes of people. Mm. And we're not far from it. Are y'all still here? My God. I said we're not far from it. Come on now. Because there is some no good in all of us. Yeah. There's some trash and some filth yeah. in all of us. Mercy. And if God took his hands off us, Mercy. we'd be just like the people Mercy. we criticize. If, if God withdrew his hands from us, where? Thank God, thank God for love. Thank him that, that, that you slept well last night yes. in a comfortable bed. Yes. Yes. Thank yes. God, not because you're better than the man on the street, but because you just found his love in time. Yes. I could have been dead. I should have been dead. But Jesus saved me. Have he saved you? I said he saved me. I said me. Have he saved you? Somebody say me. Somebody say he saved me. You know. You know what you are. You know what you've done. You know where you've been. You know where you should be, but he loves you. You liar. You crook. You dope addict. You homeless person. No matter who you are, he loves you. The part where it says so love, a demonstrative adverb, it modified the verb. It, it's the active voice that means, all that means is that there was never a time when God didn't love you. God didn't just start loving me. He always loved me. God will not cease to love me. God loves us. I said God loves us. Listen, listen. When your child is born or you discover that you will be having a baby, you start loving that child. Mm -hmm. Or when the child is born, you start loving the child. The God loves us before our parents came together. Mm -hmm. God knew that we would sin, but he still loves us. 
God knew that we would break every single commandment, but he still loves us. Are you still here? Yeah. People, people ask me, why do you holler so loud? Why do you shout so much? Because in spite of my sin, yeah. God loves me. Yeah. If nobody cares about me and my family, God loves me. If nobody wants to sit next to me, God still loves me. Yeah. Jesus loves me. Yeah. I said, Jesus loves me. Yeah. His, his love is global. And, and, and not only is his love global, but it's sacrificial. God so loved a demonstrated adverb modifying a verb. It's an active voice. God so loved the world that he gave. Yeah. Yeah. That's what love does. Love gives. Yeah. Yeah. Hear me now. Yeah. Yeah. You can give without loving, but you can't love without giving. When you love, you can't help but give. Amen. I'm not talking about a $200 pair of sneakers for your children, parents. I'm talking about giving discipline. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about giving direction. Yeah. Give, uh, you got to give them back. Mm -hmm. Some people think that stuff is the substitute for love. Mm -hmm. But love is, a, is giving of yourself. Because when you really love, you pull out of yourself or from within yourself. Listen, God so loved the world that he gave. He gave not some of himself, but God gave all of himself. I said he gave all of himself. I said he gave all of himself. Gave all of himself. When you love and you give, you win. You, you, you risk the lift of the, you risk of being rejected. He came into this world according to the scriptures to his own and they received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to be called the sons of God. God gave everything he had in Jesus Christ. Jesus came and became my sacrifice and your sacrifice. Yeah. He died in my place. Yes, he, he, he was my substitute. He went to the cross for me. Yeah. And God gave his only begotten born son yeah. for me. Yeah, when you read Genesis chapter 22, Abraham was willing to give up his son Isaac. That was our only begotten son, which means he was uniquely born. Anytime a man 99 and his wife is 90, that's way past childbearing time. Are you still here? God gave him a son in their old age. That's uniquely born. Jesus Christ is God's uniquely born son. Mary knew no man, but she was pregnant through the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hang with me a minute. Jesus could not have, could not have had an earthly father because an earthly father would have given him a sinful nature. Yes. Yes. If Jesus would have had a sinful nature, he would not be worthy to die for our sin. So he was uniquely born because his mother was a virgin with child and God was the father. That makes him or that qualifies him to be our redeemer. Yes. Listen, 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 listen. A seraphim could do it. A cherubim couldn't do it. Abraham couldn't do it. Are y'all still here? I said Abraham couldn't do it because he lied. He said Sarah was his sister. That's what he said. Noah couldn't do it. Well, huh? I said Noah couldn't do it yeah. because Noah got drunk. Yeah. David couldn't do it well. because he took another man's wife to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Are you still here? Yeah. And then he lied about his adultery. Yeah. 
Moses couldn't do it because he, he got tired of God's people. Mm -hmm. Jacob couldn't do it because he tricked his brother out of a blessing. Yes. Yes. There had to be a sinless, sinless. a sinless yes. substitute. Yes. Are you still here? Yes. And the only one qualified yes. was Jesus. Some of y'all might be ashamed to call his name. But there's salvation in his name. Are y'all still here? There's power in his name. There's joy and peace in his name. There's hope and wholeness in his name. Y'all still here? Thank you. 